So we are in New York on our way to meet the people at Modern Miro. Modern Miro is a biotechnology company that is uh, focusing in developing animal-free versions of leather, bio-leather, through biofabrication. Let's see. The reason we're here is because we are using their Biotex bio-based leather to produce our upcoming BioX gloves. David, good to see you. Thank you, nice to see you too. I'm very, very excited to finally see with my own eyes what's behind all this science fiction that I've been hearing about. First of all, I love, I love the technology and the products that you guys have, and we're so excited to kind of bring our technology together with what you guys have developed. So, you know, at Modern Meadow, what we've done over the past 10 years is we've really sought to bring together the best of biology, the best of material science, along with a kind of a mentality around sustainability. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, where it landed with us was this creation of a new material we call a bioalloy which is really a, a unique miscible blend of, of specific proteins with specific bio-based polymers and bio-based polyurethanes to allow you to bring really the best of both worlds into that material. We started off by creating our proteins via a fermentation process like beer, but as we learned more and more about the basic physics of the protein, we were able to identify plant-based proteins that are cheaper, more accessible, and, and frankly have a better environmental footprint than the fermentation-based approach. So that when you touch a Biovera material, you're actually touching biology. We like to think of Biovera as almost a new third class of materials. You've got leather, you've got synthetics, and then you've got this new hybrid class, right, which is a more built around biomimicry, for example. So you have to have that fundamental science to make something that I think ultimately is gonna win. Uh, for the planet and for the market. The next 10 years are going to be very exciting. I think they're gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait to continue to innovate with you guys and bring more materials to the market. Fisherman, man, thank you. Nick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is our lab, uh, Modern Meadow. This is where we do a lot of the fundamental research and development on the bioalloy technology. So we do a lot of things like studying different um, polymer solutions, different plant-based proteins, um, how they interact, and how can we kind of tune the properties of the solution based on the application we want. Bioalloy is essentially a technology we've developed. It's the core technology that all of our material platforms are based on. What's unique about bioalloy is that we've found um, certain blends of the plant protein with polyurethanes that are miscible at a molecular level. So you add these two components, A and B, and they actually behave as one unique material and you get a lot of interesting properties. So you get um, kind of the softness, the elasticity of uh, a polyurethane, but you get um, interesting features from the protein, such as breathability, diability, and durability, like abrasion resistance. We partner with strategic manufacturers um, who do this day in and day out for their normal business. What's really nice about bioalloy is that it is kind of a drop-in to their processes. It doesn't require uh, much additional retooling, um, changing of their manufacturing lines. You can literally drop it right into their existing infrastructure. This is the first product that GraphineX and Mother Meadow are actually working together. You now the whole lower part of the globe is the Biotex from, from you guys, produced at Limonta in Italy. And the upper part of the globe, this is just a prototype, so it's not finished, it's going to be full black. It's a graphene integrated. Uh, polyester blend Very cool. in order to offer like thermal regulation and a certain level of abrasion resistance. So I am a research associate, but I am the owner of this lab. We test materials in different ways here and then that gives us valuable data. It could be anything. It could be uh, if you have a DWR membrane, you want to see how waterproof it is or how much how much it would resist like tearing. So these two instruments are what we call tensile testing machines. Oh, you take your material, how much can you stretch it before it breaks? How much it would elongate before it breaks? These two are what we call valley flexes. So you want your material to not crack even under repeated bending. So that's why this test is really important for us. What my coworker Michelle there is doing is what we call crocking test. So she puts that lever down and it rubs repeatedly again and again. This is just to see how much of color is coming out of a material where you pour water in here 
and th this nozzle has specific holes that would simulate rainfall. This on the other hand is where you put your material in, water is being pumped from underneath, and at some point under some, at some pressure, pressure level, water would come mix, out. Right? Yeah, it might sound funny, but this is pretty much like a tanning bed for your material. You put your material in here, we're evaluating some membranes, you let your material sit there for like however long you want, and after that, you pull it out and you see if there's any change in color. This allows us to evaluate how UV resistant our material is. This is basically the opposite of Ballyflex, and this applies compression in a cyclic way. Oh, okay. Notice how the, it goes back and forth? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's how we would apply the load. That's cool. Man. So this right here is the, uh, is the dynamic mechanical analyzer or DMA. Like uh, a good example I could give is you're letting that car sit in the sun for like seven, eight hours. Obviously your interior is gonna get really hot and with heat, leather becomes more pliable, right? That's pretty much what we do in this lab. And uh, like I said, that we grow, the company grows. It's all a win-win in the end. Thank you, Sri, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, thank you very much. Jeff, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you for receiving us, huh? Oh, for sure, no problem. I mean, Modern Meadow, we're really established to look at how you take and combine, I'll say, science and nature. How do you take and make sure that when you are making a new product, it's gonna work, it's gonna be better for the environment, and that people can actually make it and use it. The only way to have impact is to make it so your product can be used. Otherwise, you have the perfect product that nobody can use, and so then there's no impact, and that's not what we're looking for. The engine behind Mother Meadow here, it's bioalloy, right? Yeah, bioalloy, that combination of taking and discovery around polymers being combined with proteins. I always say with the BioVary, if you get your hands on it, then you know the difference. It's that natural feel and that natural touch, which your body will maybe sometimes associate with a natural product. And I really like where, where Graphene X has taken and looked at combinations of materials. Biotext does a great side here. Uh, in the other area, you get everything that you get out of the graphene property. So I think it's a, a great way to work together is finding that connection, really that connection between we both have a similar stance on, hey, you've got to get better. It's going to take some innovation and you need to work together, whether it's multiple materials working together or multiple companies partnering together and saying, what can you do next? Well, Jeff, this is the starting point for us. Yes. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next five, 10 years. And I'm That's sure it right. will be, at, at least it will be exciting. Thank you, man. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you too. So this is the our big uh, moving drum. And this is our uh, BioVera substrate. Uh, it's currently being uh, taken through the wet end process. So the wet end process is very known in the leather industry where you take um, you know, the hide or the, our BioVera dry white substrate in this case, uh, and we subject it to a few different steps to tune its properties. Uh, with Biotex, uh, you can have, and especially now with Biotex Shield, that specific product is geared towards breathability. So you can imagine it uh, being used for like performance uh, outwear. Like uh, we already have products where Biotex Shield is being used on um, like, you know, different uh, sports outfits. I think the biggest advancement that we've done, especially at Modern Meadow as a company, is being able to like have a substrate that would survive the mechanical action that you're seeing in the drum. Mm. Like we've always wanted to have a sustainable alternative to leather. What makes BioVera very special is that like, you know, it is made from recyclable and bio-based components. Our aim is to revolutionize the material world and we, you know, combine in a way the, the benefit of both, the like, you know, synthetic material and uh, the leather and, you know, we, we create something new. It's amazing to see how you see like two completely different materials that come from completely different origins yeah. can complement to make a stronger product. It has the softness, it has, you know, you, you can actually see the durability of the, of, of the glove yeah. because we've tested like really, really hard. But for me, the, the, the dexterity and flexibility the material has is just amazing. You, you wouldn't see this on a normal, like traditional leather piece, right? Yeah, I absolutely love the lightweightness of it as well. Exactly, exactly. So we, we can't but really be excited about what's coming in the future and yeah. look forward to keep working together. So thank yeah. you very much. Very excited about the partnership as well. Can't wait to, you know, uh, grow together for sure. For revolutionary products. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this marks the end of our visit to Mother Meadow. I hope you guys enjoy as much as I did understanding who's behind this amazing company, how are they working these biomaterials and what lies you know, ahead for, 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 our, for our partnership 
and, uh, and the projects that we will be building together. So cheers and uh, see you soon.